Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brian here with another pickup video. This is a Target uh, buy one get one half off sale. Uh, I got eight titles here in this box. Um, I'll show them off right now. Um, kind of a mixed bag here. Some classics, some new horror films, and then some just random movies that I had forgotten that I wanted to check out. So first one here is a film put out by Sony Pictures from 20, uh, 2015, 2016. There's two, two dates on here. Uh, this is uh, The Diary of a Teenage Girl. Uh, stars Alexander Skarsgård, Kristen Wiig, Belle Powley, and Christopher Maloney. Um, I hate when they put the stupid fresh tomato, rotten tomatoes thing on here. I don't really care about it. I don't know if you guys do or not. I don't. Uh, it gets good ratings. I looked it up on IMDb. Uh, it takes place in 1976 San Francisco. Uh, Minnie Goetz, uh, played by Belle Powley, is growing up at the crossroads of the fading hippie movement and the dawn of punk rock. Uh, like most teenage girls, Minnie is longing for love, acceptance, and a sense of purpose in the world. Minnie begins a complex love affair with her mother's boyfriend, the handsomest man in the world. Uh, so her mother is played by Kristen Wiig, and then her boyfriend is played by um, Alexander Skarsgård. What follows is a sharp, funny, provocative account of one of the girl's sexual and artistic awakening without judgment. Uh, rated R for sexual content, drug use, language, drinking, all involving teenagers. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have seen The Diary of a Teenage Girl. I thought it was interesting. Uh, next one here is another film I've, I don't remember. Uh, it's put out by Anchor Bay. Uh, stars Jeremy Sumter, Tyler Blackburn, and um, Via Fain. Or, I don't know, I, I can't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, it's a film called Hiding. This is from 2012. Uh, it says, Some Secrets Can't Stay Concealed. After witnessing a shocking crime that leaves both her parents dead, New York City teenager Joe, played by, um, yeah, Anna, we'll say Anna, I don't want to butcher her last name again, uh, is put into the witness protection program and sent to live in rural Montana. Well, that sounds like hell to me. <laughs> uh, she isn't allowed to have any contact with her family or former friends. Worst of all, she's become the new girl in a small cliquish high school. Can Joe now survive being caught between a charismatic athlete, a sensitive art student, a jealous group of girls trying to uncover her past, and a cold-blooded hitman who may be tracking her location? So, definitely interesting. I definitely wanted to check this out. This is PG-13, uh, Violence and Language. Uh, like I said, put up by Anchor Bay. Look interesting to me. So I definitely wanted to check that one out. Uh, next one, the next few here are all classics. Um, I've seen this movie a million times. I used to have the DVD. I think I got rid of it a while back. But I'm glad to have it on Blu-ray now. This is put out by Paramount. And that is the remake of The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler, Chris Rock. Uh, obviously, Burt Reynolds, Nelly, James Cromwell. Uh, so many, so many good... Um, cameos in here as well uh, from 2005 113 minutes pg-13 just a great football comedy uh, prison comedy if you guys haven't seen that i, I suggest it the, the original was pretty good too i need to get that one still uh, this one I know just got a 4k release um, i actually don't own this in my collection i have two three and four i don't have five either um, but I'll wait for the 4K to go down to upgrade. That is Death Wish with Charles Bronson. Um, from 1974, 93 minutes, rated R. Uh, basically, this is um, 
Charles Bronson plays Paul Kersey. Uh, his wife and daughter are violently attacked by a gang of thugs. His daughter is sexually assaulted and his wife is murdered. So he gets revenge on the criminals and just starts taking out all criminals from the whole series. So really enjoy. I've seen the second one. This one I have seen, but it's been such a long time. So I definitely want to rewatch it. Uh, this is a Michael Winter film. So yeah, I love my vigilante films. Next one here is uh, one that I've been meaning to pick up for the longest time. I actually thought I had it in the collection, but I don't. But now I do. This is put out by Warner Brothers. This is from 1967. And that is in the original Bonnie and Clyde with Warren Beatty and Faye Fay Dunaway. Uh, this takes place in the Depression era. Um, so, obviously, Clyde Barrow is played by Warren Beatty, and Bonnie Parker is played by Faye Dunaway. They embark on the life of crime. They crave adventure in each other. When uh, we are unprepared for the cascading violence that follows, we learn they can be hurt and dread they can be killed. So it is kind of a bunch of criminals on the run. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend owning that in your collection. Now the next one here, I'm kind of mad because I bought this pretty cheap and then Criterion announces it on 4K. Of course they did. That's all right, uh, I'll, I'll watch this and then I'll probably upgrade later down the line. Uh, we got Thelma and Louise here. This is the 20th, 20th anniversary edition on Blu-ray. This is a Ridley Scott film starring Susan Sarandon, Gina Davis, and Harvey Keitel from 1991. Uh, what's the rating on this? I don't see one. I'm assuming it would be rated R. No, doesn't say. This is put up by MGM and Warner Brothers. Uh, Susan Sarandon and Gina Davis star as an accidental outlaws on a desperate flight across the southwest after a tragic incident at a roadside bar. The determined detective on their trail, a sweet-talking hitchhiker played by Brad Pitt. In their path and a string of crimes in their wake, their journey alternates between hilarious high-speed thrill ride and empowering personal odyssey. Can't wait to check this out again. I have seen this, but it's been such a long time. All right, last two here. Uh, these are both new horror films that have come out in the last mm, couple of months. Uh, first up, we have from Lionsgate uh, from 2022. That is The Inhabitant. Uh, I like anything dealing with... Um, Lizzie Borden, so I definitely wanted to pick this up and give it a watch. Everyone knows the story of Lizzie Borden, so I won't bore you with it. But, uh, uh Tara uh, lives in a shadow of a howering family curse. She's a descendant of axe murderess Lizzie Borden. Uh, as Tara begins to hear voices and have paranoid visions of butchering her family, people in her small town are attacked and killed. All evidence points to her. Uh, she must confront the demons that possess her, both real and imaginary. And a shocking truth in this chilling psychological horror ride. So, can't wait to check that out. This is not rated, 97 minutes. And the last one here I've been wanting to check out too. I've, I've read mixed reviews on this one. Some decent, some terrible, but I wanted to watch it anyway. Uh, this is actually from 2023, uh, 88 minutes put up by ROJE Films, and that is The Friendship Game, starring Peyton List, uh, Brendan Meyer, Kelsey Mawima, and Caitlin Santa Juana. Uh, there, so these, this group of kids are enjoying their last summer together before college. 
They discover the friendship game. The mysterious object comes with simple instructions. Each player admits their deepest desire. The game will test their loyalties, and but if they win, their friendships will last forever. When Cotton goes missing, after playing the game, the remaining friends slip into a dangerous spiral of increasingly destructive consequences. So, definitely wanted to give this a watch, for sure. So those are my, uh, let's say, eight, eight pickups from Target's buy one, get one, 50% off sale. Yeah, I went a little crazy with it this time, Amazon too, but anyway. Here's my little stack here. Let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these and what you thought of them. And I'll catch you guys probably later in the week. I got some eBay stuff to show off. Not a lot. Some Macari stuff. But I've been kind of cutting back on, on buying movies lately. Just waiting for sales, really. So, um, But yeah, hope, I hope you guys are doing well. And I will catch you guys later. Take care. Bye.